All right, the flow for today is going to go toward Peacock. So this is definitely going to be a bit more of a core base flow, very much under the upper body, uh, bent arm strength, working the back line of your body, and a lot of counterintuitive extension through your spine. So just kind of keep that in mind. We'll get the peacock toward the end of class. I don't sweat that too much right now, but I do have one demonstration before we start. Once we get to the main part of the flow, every sequence will bring you to the front at the very end. And I'm going to cue this into a flattened version of Crow. And to take it further, if you're able to balance this all right, I want you to see about working this toward this Crow push-up, which this may not be a whole lot of a push-up. You're going to be moving while you're actually in crow and balancing. It doesn't have to be a lot of movement, but you want to move with some control. So what's going to happen here is going to start this from a forward fold. You're going to have both hands down, shoulder width, dig your fingertips down as usual, and then bring your feet to center. Bring them together. So lift your heels. Bring the knees outside your arms. You're going to bring the legs out wide so we can flatten this out. You're going to use the inner thighs and squeeze the legs in, keep in mind. So press into the fingertips. Look forward, lean. Just take it slow, but when your feet lift, try to bring the toes to touch and keep your legs squeezing in. Now, as you hold here, if just holding the balance is enough, you can stay like this, but to take it further, pull your elbows back and dip your shoulders down even a little bit, and then come back up and see about moving like this with control at three times at least. Now, if you're able to take this further and take it deeper, you can pull the elbows back, maybe dip this down, and even bring your nose down to the floor, and then come back up. And it takes a lot of control to do that. You don't want to zip through this too fast, and use that tension of the inner thighs to keep the movement under control. So work it as best you can. It is certainly not a simple movement. You gotta hold your balance the whole time while you're going back and forth. So if you need to, go ahead and restrict it. Doesn't have to be that dramatic a movement. It just has to be something that you can feel and something you're actually holding on to. Your hands will stay active the whole time, the fingertips digging down to the floor, and your elbows are gonna stay pulled in and your legs are gonna be squeezing in the whole time to keep everything under control. We'll move to the vinyasa from there. So just work it as best you can, and it will help you by the time we come in toward peacock at the very end of class. And that's whole purpose of that. So to get this started, go ahead and bring yourself down onto your back. And to set this up, once you're down, go ahead and keep both feet on the floor a little wider than your hips. And lean the knees in towards center just to help release your low back into the mat. And then once you've got that set up, go ahead and bring your arms out to your sides, palms open toward the ceiling, let the elbows bend. And maybe the hands go past your head, that could work. Maybe you pull the elbows in closer to your waist, but wherever you settle in here, let your shoulders sink down. Let your chest just open up. And then close your eyes. So just give yourself a moment to settle in. Let your mind quiet down. And then just start to deepen your breathing here. So with the inhales, pulling as much air as you can. Try to fill up your lungs. Hold on to all that breath at the top. And then as you exhale, constrict the back of your throat. So slow your breath down on the way back out. And just work to make your exhales last at least as long as your inhales as you breathe. And just keep breathing like this here to begin. ready here take a deep inhale when you exhale just open your eyes and just go slow with an inhale reach your arms out long past your head with the exhale just bring your arms down to your sides inhale reach this out long exhale arms to your sides Inhale, reach us out long. Exhale, arms to your sides again. Inhale, reach us out long. And now with the exhale, this time reach forward between your knees and curl up as well. Back and forth like this. Inhale, roll this out. And now with the exhale, curl forward. Inhale, roll out long. Exhale, curl forward again. 
Inhale, roll this out. And with the exhale, curl, but reach to the right of your legs. Inhale, roll this out long. Exhale, curl to your left side. Inhale, roll this out. Exhale, curl right again. Inhale, roll out long. And with the exhale, curl this left. Inhale, roll out long. Now with the exhale, curl right one more time and stay here. Now as you're reaching, just keep the head and shoulders lifted. And keep the right arm as is, but with your left hand, take hold of your left knee, pull it into your chest. And lift even higher. Now we're going to take this even further, pulsing forward, reaching forward through the right arm. So on my count, bring it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Set your left foot down. Take an inhale. Reach out long past your head. And then with the exhale, curl left one more time and hold here. Now stay lifted with your right hand. Take hold of the right knee. Pull it in toward your chest. Keep reaching that left arm forward. And then pulse further forward through the left arm on my count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then go ahead, take hold of the left knee as well. Relax your head to the floor and just squeeze everything down for a moment. Now you can pull the knees out wide, maybe rock a little bit side to side, but just breathe. And then if you're moving side to side, bring this back into center. And then bring the left foot down to the floor. We're going to cross the legs. So once the left foot's down, bring the right ankle past your left thigh. So it's a loose cross your legs, almost like you're moving into eagle. Now keep it loose. There's some sp space underneath your bent right leg. You just got the ankle crossing the thigh. And the arms out to your sides, right and left. Bend the elbows. And keep the elbows in line with your shoulders. Make your hands into fists and keep your shoulders pressed down into the floor. Now as you cross the legs here, keep the right leg pressing the left. Left leg stays pressing back into the right. I'm going to work this as a twist. So tuck your left hip underneath you and then bring your knees down to the left side. Just take it slow. Keep the legs pressing into each other and then come back up. Come back to center again. Bring your knees down to the left side again and then back up to center here. Keep the cross one more time. Bring your knees down to the left and hold here. Try to bring your gaze right. Keep the legs pressing into each other. So even as the left leg's moving toward the floor, the right leg's pressing up into the left. And then bring this back up to center. Switch it out. Right foot down. Left ankle over your right thigh. Keep that light cross so there's some space underneath your bent left leg. Now to take it to the other side, tuck the right hip underneath you. Keep both shoulders down. And then bring your knees down to the right side as the legs press into each other. And then come back up to center. Bring the knees down over to the right again and twist. Come back up to center here. One more time. Bring your knees down to the right and hold here. And bring your gaze left. Now, as the right leg presses toward the floor, keep the left leg pressing up into the right and keep breathing. And then go ahead and bring this back into center. Now, once you lift the knees back up, go ahead and bring both feet to the floor. And let's set this up for bridge. The so feet and knees about hips with distance apart. Bring your heels in close so your low back starts out basically flat. And then keep the arms bent like this, but rotate from the shoulders so the forearms come up to vertical. This is more like a bent pressing position. The hands are still curled into fists. Keep the hands curled in tight. Keep your elbows and shoulders pressed down. Just bring your gaze up high. And let's take this up and down. So with an inhale, press your feet, lift your hips, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, roll back down. Inhale, press your hips up high again. And then with the exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your hips, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, press your hips up high. Exhale, lower again. Inhale, lift up your hips. Exhale, roll back down. Inhale, press your hips up high and hold here. Now keep your glutes squeezing. Keep your hips lifted like this. Now as you're lifting, try to squeeze the knees toward each other as well. Keep breathing. And then take an inhale. With the exhale, roll back down. Now, once you're down, keep the arms bent like this, but then pull the elbows in toward your waist. The forearms are still vertical, hands still curled into fists. And then legs like we did before with the twist. Step the left foot into center. Take that loose cross, right ankle past your left thigh. And again, there should be a gap underneath your bent right leg. Now, keep the right leg and left leg pressing into each other. And let's go up and down like this. So with an inhale, press your hips up high, squeeze your glutes. And then with the exhale, roll back down. 
Inhale, lift this up again. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, press up one more time and hold here. Now keep your glutes squeezing and keep the legs pressing into each other. Keep breathing. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, bring it all back down. Now once you're down, switch it out. Right foot's going to be on the floor. Left ankle crosses your right thigh. And again, keep that tension as the legs press together. When you're ready, with an inhale, lift your hips, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lift your hips up again. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, press up high, and this time hold. And just keep your glutes squeezing. Keep that tension as the legs are pressing into each other. And keep breathing. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, come all the way down. Once you're down, bring your knees to your chest. Bring your hands to your knees. Squeeze in. And as you're squeezing, lift your head, lift your shoulders. Bring your nose close to your knees. And then go to use your shape. Cross at the ankles. And then roll forward to seat. Come further, your hands come into all fours. And once you're up in all fours, give yourself a moment here, move around, stretch your hands, stretch your fingers, let the shoulders and hips move side to side, and just feel things out. And loosen up your spine. And then when you're ready for me, let's just take this into the wrist right away. Now we're going to start this one hand at a time. So just keep your hips stacked over your knees. And then slide the right hand in toward the center of the mat. Flip it over. So the right hand's at the midline. But bring the back of the hand down. The palm faces up. The fingertips point left. And then come up onto the fingertips of the left hand just to feel this out. Now, press the fingertips down into the floor. You can slide that right hand back toward your knees if this is too much. But I want you to set the left hand on top of the right to help flatten the right hand out. Fingertips spell pressing down, hold that tension, circle your shoulder over your wrist, and just feel this out here. Now, if this is too intense, again, bring the weight and bring the hand back toward your knees so the weight comes back toward your legs. And you can always just stay with this, and this is plenty by itself. But if you want to take this further, just stack the, the shoulder over your wrist, and then step your left foot back behind the right. Be sure you can balance. If you can take it further, lift your left foot and pull the left knee forward toward your left elbow, and then extend that left leg back. Again, knee toward your elbow, keep the fingers pressing down, and then extend your left leg back. One more time, knee toward your elbow, and then one more time, extend the leg. And then bring your left knee down, and release the left hand from the right, shake your right hand out. And let's take it on the other side. So again, from all fours, hips stay stacked over your knees, slide the left hand toward the center of the mat this time, and flip it over, back of the hand down, palm up, the fingertips point right. Now again, bring the hand closer to your knees if you need to, or stay further forward if that's all right. But go ahead, set the right hand on top of the left to help flatten it out. Keep the fingertips of the left hand pressing down and keep that tension. Maybe just stay here and circle your shoulder over your wrist, and this is plenty. Now again, if you want to take it further, right foot steps back this time behind the left. And then if you want to go further still, lift your right foot and go back and forth. Bring the right knee forward toward your right elbow, and then extend the leg straight back. Knee toward the elbow again, and extend the leg. One more time, knee to right elbow. One more time, extend the leg back and then set the knee down. And then go ahead, set the right hand down, release the left hand, shake it out. Now we'll take one more stretch here, and this is using one of the positions that we'll take toward peacock at the end of class. So go ahead, bring your knees out wide, widen your hips, point the toes in toward each other. And then walk the hands back so you can set them down on the line that you draw between your knees. Now palms down, fingertips out to the side, and if you can, try to rotate your fingers back toward your feet. And just keep the hands about shoulder width here to start. Now set the hands down flat, spread your fingers out wide, grip the floor and grip it hard. Bring your chest forward between the upper arms and bend the elbows in toward each other. So they should be pressing into your ribs or the muscles of your core. Now keep looking forward, keep your chest forward and then just go back and forth. Bring your shoulders down a little bit at least. And then come back up but keep wet on your hands. And just go back and forth like this. Now keep in mind, you don't have to go down too far. You're not trying to set your face on the floor. But if you get comfortable shifting your weight, maybe come down lower each time. And try to keep your gaze forward, keep your chest pulling forward, even if you take it down low. Now, the next time you bring your weight forward, stay forward here and just hold. Keep the fingertips pressing down. And if you want to just move with this, keep the upper body as is, but step the right foot back over to the left. And then bring the right knee back down to where it was. Left foot steps back over to the right. And then bring your left knee down. Right foot over to the left again. And then bring that knee back to the floor, left foot over to the right, and then set the knee back down again. Right foot over to the left one more time. Set the knee back down, left foot over to the right one more time, and then set the knee down. And then come up onto the fingertips, come down to sitting on your heels, 
And take a moment, shake your hands out, loosen up your fingers and loosen up your wrists. All right, once you're ready, come back into all fours. Now, wrists underneath the shoulders, keep your hips stacked over your knees. And we're going to take this toward a modified Russian push-up here. And I'm not going to be the best example because I've, I've strained a muscle. So I'm sort of hurting while I'm doing this, but I'll do the best I can. So what's going to happen from here? Start with your wrists over your shoulders. Keep the arms vertical. Bring the shoulders past your wrists and rotate the fingers to the sides at least a little bit. Now I want to bend the elbows and keep in mind, you want to keep the arms parallel even when the elbows bend. So just like your usual chaturanga, like you're supposed to, keep the elbows pulled into your sides. Now let's just go back and forth like this. As you dig into the fingertips, lean forward with the shoulders. And then we'll take the first round. Shoulders forward as the elbows bend. Now come halfway down. Chaturanga arms, elbows stay pulled in. Now keep your elbows bent. Pull your weight back and bring the elbows down to the floor. Now shift your weight forward. Elbows are still bent. Arms pulled into your sides. And then press this back up to straight. Two more rounds like that. Shoulders forward as the elbows bend. Now hold here halfway down. And then shift your weight back. Bring the elbows down to the floor. Now bring your weight forward, keep the elbows pulled into your sides like this, and then press back up to straight. And we'll do one more round. Shoulders forward as the elbows bend. Now hold here, halfway down. Arms are bent. Bring your weight back and bring the elbows down to the floor. Now shift your weight forward, keep the elbows pulled into your sides like this, and then press back up to straight. And then just relax for a moment and breathe. And that is not supposed to be an easy movement at all, keep in mind. Now, this may be enough doing this modified version with the knees on the floor, and I certainly understand there's nothing wrong with staying with that. If you want to take the full Russian push-up, you do it with straight legs, so that brings you through plank, chaturanga, and dolphin. Now, I'm going to give that a try myself, and let me tell you, I am not doing this very well because I have pulled something around my ribs, but just take whichever version you like and work this as best you can. But still, the thing to pay attention to is that the elbows stay pulled in. So go ahead, bring yourself into position, arms straight. You can straighten the legs to keep the knees down. And let's take it back and forth. Again, three rounds of this. Shoulders forward as the elbows bend. Now hold here halfway, chaturanga arms. Now pull your weight straight back. Elbows come down to the floor. Now bring your weight forward. Keep the elbows pulled into your sides. And then press it back up to straight. All right, two more times. Shoulders forward. Keep the elbows pulled in. Come down halfway. Shift back. Bring the elbows down to the floor. Now bring your weight forward. Keep the elbows pulled in like this. And then press back up to straight. All right, one more time. Shoulders forward as the elbows bend. Hold here, halfway down. Bring your weight back. Elbows come down to the floor. Now shift your weight forward. Keep the elbows pulled in. And then press back up to straight. And then just give yourself a moment here and breathe again. All right, one more thing before we move on, and this is going to be a little bit easier. So just keep your, hip, your, your wrists underneath the shoulders and your knees underneath your hips, and take this into spinal balance. I want you to extend the right arm straight forward and your left leg straight back, and just bring your body into line. Now keep your chest facing down. Take an inhale here. With the exhale, squeeze this in, elbow to knee underneath you. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee one more time. Now stay here. And then reach back with your right hand, find the left foot. Now once you have that grip, kick in your hand, try to draw the shoulder forward, lifting knee up higher. Hold your balance. All right, and then just to liven things up, I want you to keep your left leg where it is, but release the right hand. Right hand comes down inside the left hand, so it's moving toward the left side of the mat. Come up onto the fingertips of the left hand. Just go slow as you open to the side. And then see how far you want to go. Maybe just reach the left arm back. That's good enough. Now, if you can take it further and hold the left foot, kicking your hand, try to pull the shoulder forward, lifting the knee up higher. The balance is supposed to be tricky. Keep in mind. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, release and bring everything down. Come back to all fours. And of course, you do it on one side. You got to do it on the other. So just reset. Resting the shoulders and knees under your hips. Keep your chest facing down. Reach your left arm forward this time and your right leg straight back and just hold. Now take an inhale. And with the exhale, squeeze this in, elbow to knee underneath. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee one more time. Inhale, reach this out long and stay reaching. Now go ahead, bend the right knee, reach back with your left hand, find the right foot. Once you find that grip, kick in your hand, pull your shoulder forward, try to lift that knee up high. 
And again, let's make this a little bit more interesting. Keep the right leg where it is. Release the left hand, set it down inside your right hand so the left hand's moving toward the right side of the mat. Come up onto the fingertips of the right hand, take it slow as you open to the side. Now maybe just reach the right arm back, that could be good enough. Now if you can find the right foot with your hand, kick into your hand, pull your shoulder forward to bring the knee up higher, and again, it's supposed to be tricky, just work it as best you can. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, release, bring everything down, and come back to all fours. And once you're in all fours, just move around, breathe. Now you can just stay here and breathe, take another stretch before we move on, but whenever you're ready, tuck your toes, straighten your legs, lift your hips, and come into down with facing dog. Now just give yourself some time, move around. Now once you settle into position, take a look at how you set this up. Hands about shoulder width distance apart, flatten your palms. And you want to feel some weight toward the base of your thumbs, keep in mind, grip the floor. And then sink your chest down low to the mat. Now, even as the chest sinks down, press your hips up as high toward the ceiling as you can, and really reach your hips up toward the ceiling. Use your core here, pulling through the belly around the lower ribs, try to lengthen your spine. And as you're pressing your hips up high, if your legs are tight, let that go. You can always bend your knees, and you can always stay loose. You can just pedal out and let your hips from side to side. Now, when you're ready, take an inhale. With the exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step to the front. Let's take a ragdoll fold. So feet about hips with distance apart, deep bend in the knees. Let your belly touch your thighs, let your head hang, let your spine round. And let everything go long and loose here, let the muscles of your neck relax. Now you can hang your hands to the floor, you can reach to opposite elbows if you like, and maybe shake the side to side to loosen further. And then when you're ready, just release any grip that you have. Keep the bend of the knees to begin, but restack your spine. So slowly round this up to standing. Bring your head up last. And then just open up your palms at your sides. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. Now take a moment here to breathe. Set an intention. Let your mind clear. Find your focus. Take a deep inhale. And now with the exhale, just release your hands. Now with the next inhale, reach your arms up high. And with the exhale, slowly fold this forward. Hinge at the hips. Start with the straight spine. Put a little bend in the knees. Keep your core engaged. Move smoothly and then release this at the bottom. With an inhale, lift it up halfway. Fingertips to the floor to your shins. Lengthen forward to the crown of your head. And now with the exhale, just bring your hands to the mat. And let's step it back to high plank. Now find your shape. Receive the shoulders, palms pressed to the floor. Press the floor away from you. Press your spine up toward the ceiling. And take an inhale. With the exhale, slowly bring your shoulders forward as the elbows bend. Now keep your body in line, elbows pulled into your sides, and lower with control all the way down into your belly. Now once you're down, go ahead and flatten the feet out behind you. Hands under the shoulders, elbows into your sides. We'll take this up and down through low cobra. So with an inhale, just peel up your head, neck, and chest. Exhale, roll back down. Inhale, peel this up again. And then with the exhale, lower. Inhale, peel up one more time and stay lifted. Now keep the lift in the upper body, press into your feet. Take some more all the weight out of your hands. Elbows at your sides, pull the shoulders back, keep your gaze forward. And then work to lift this up a little bit higher still. Take an inhale. Exhale, roll back down. Now hands under the shoulders, elbows in at your sides, press the palms down to the floor. And let's take it to upward facing dog. So with an inhale, straighten your arms. Now pull your chest forward, let your hips hang, stand the tops of your feet. Keep your legs active, work to lift your knees up from the mat. To take it further, kick your feet down, squeeze your glutes, and try to pull the hips forward to deepen and lengthen the arc through the front. Now lift with your arms, but lift with your shoulders, keep your neck long, keep your chest bone forward. And take a deep inhale. And with the exhale, pull your belly, hips up high, back to down dog. Paddle out. Let your hips move side to side. And we'll take it through the sun salutation. Steady movement here. Take a deep inhale. Now with the exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, step or float to the front. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale to stand and reach the arms up high. And then with the exhale, fold all the way back down again. Inhale, halfway lift. And with the exhale, hands to the mat, chaturanga's next, high point to low. With an inhale, open up your chest, lift your gaze, up dog or cobra. And then with the exhale, pull your belly, hips up high to down dog. 
Two more times, take an inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or float. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale to standing, arms reach high. And then with the exhale, bring it back down again. Inhale, half lift here. Exhale, hands to the floor, half point the lows next. With an inhale, open up, draw forward. Exhale, pull back in and bring your hips back up. One more round, take an inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or float. Inhale, lift it halfway. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale to stand, the arms reach high. And then exhale all the way back down again. Inhale, halfway lift here. And with the exhale, set the hands. Chaturanga. With an inhale, open up, pull forward. Exhale, draw back in. Bring your hips back up. And just find your downward facing dog and breathe here. Now from your down dog, take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, step or float. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to standing, reach up high. And then with the exhale, sink into the chair. Put the weight heels, bend your knees, and bring your hips down low. Now once you settle in, just pay attention to your stance. Be sure the feet are within hips with distance, not too wide. Big toes and knees towards center. And then bind it from above. Right, right hand behind your head, palm facing in. Left palm faces the other way. Clasp your fingers. And with your left hand, pull the right arm behind your head. Now press your head into your right arm. Keep the shoulders pulled back. Keep your chest open. And be sure you can keep your gaze forward. And then focus weight on the left foot and lift your right heel. Now extend your right leg forward. Dip your big toe down. And then with that right big toe, draw a semicircle all the way to the back. And then draw that arc to the front. All the way back again with the right big toe. And then bring it forward. Now all the way back one more time. Keep looking forward. And then bring that right big toe to the front. And then pressing your left foot, come to standing with your right knee high. Now when you're ready, take this into a figure four. Right ankle crosses your left thigh. Curl the toes with the right foot and knee stays to the side. And then bend into your left knee, sink down. And keep your gaze forward. If you can take this further, maybe try to look up toward the ceiling. Hold your balance here. Now with your next inhale, straighten your left leg, come to standing with your right knee high, and then switch it out, right foot down, come to standing with that left knee high, and bring your hands to your hips. Now press into the right big toe, be sure you're stable, and then go ahead, take hold of your left knee with your left hand, point the toes down, and we're going to go back and forth hinging with a bent left leg. Now just keep looking forward, keep a little bend on the right knee, and then slowly hinge from the right hip, chest toward the floor, left knee stays bent, keep your gaze forward, and then come back up the vertical with your left knee high. Again, like that, hinge from the right hip. Take it down where you can toward that halfway fold, still looking forward. And then come back up, left knee high. One more time, hinge from the right hip. Chest toward the floor, come down toward halfway. Bring it back up the vertical, left knee high. Now stay here. And maybe bring that left knee in closer, maybe start to lean back, but stay tall. If you want to go further, left arm inside the left leg, find the big toe. You can use that grip to pull the knee up higher or extend the leg forward and up. Take this to where you can. Now still balancing here. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, left knee still lifted, hands to your hips. Go ahead, step your left foot straight back, find a high lunge stance. Now give yourself a moment to set this up. Deep under the right knee, left leg towards straight. Feet on two separate tracks so the hips are still squared. Left hip forward, right hip back. Keep your spine upright. With an inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, hands to your low back. Now interlace the fingers, pull the palms together, draw your shoulders back and keep your chest open. I'm going to take this into the back leg. So dip your left knee down low, just above the floor. And then come back up. Left knee down again, come down low, keep your chest open. And bring it back up. Dip the left knee down low, keep your spine upright. Come back up again. Sink down, left knee just above your mat. And then come back up. Now this time, come all the way down. Take it slow. And then when your left knee is on the floor, flatten the left foot behind you and kick down. Now keep your chest open, shoulders back, bend it to the right knee, sink the hips down and forward, gaze up high. Press your knuckles down toward the floor. 
and keep that left foot kicking down. Keep breathing here. Now hold this shape. Keep the front of the left side long from the knee to the shoulder. But with an inhale, go ahead, reach your arms up high. And then bring your hands behind your head. Now interlace the fingers, palms open, elbows wide, shoulders pulled back. You're still looking toward the ceiling. And keep your left foot kicking down. We're going to take this further, working this with the right leg. So press into your right foot, lean this further back, keep your chest open. And then bend deep into the right knee, sink down and forward, gaze is still high. Press into your right foot, lean this further back. Bend deep into the right knee, sink down and forward. One more time, press into your right foot, lean this further back, hold here, keep your chest open. And then take a twist, release the right hand. Reach down toward your left heel, look down to your right arm, and just breathe here. Keep your left foot kicking, kicking down, keep that hip pressing forward. Now with your next inhale, turn to center, reach up high. Exhale, hands to your hips. Now hinge from the hips, bring your belly toward your right thigh. And as your weight comes forward, tuck the toes to your left foot and lift your left knee. Now we're going to take this to half moon. Right arm reaches forward. When you're ready, bring the right hand down as your left foot lifts. And then open up to the side. So lift your left shoulder and lift your left hip. You can keep this low and keep a bend on the right knee. If you want to go further, straighten your right leg. Maybe open up further, reach your left arm high. And if you can keep your balance and take it further still, you can bend that left knee. Reach back with your hand, see about finding your foot. And if you have that grip, kicking your hand to open you further to the side. Keep breathing here, keep your balance. Take an inhale. With the exhale, release this. Both hands down, both feet down, forward fold. Now from that fold, when you're ready, take an inhale, lift up halfway. And then with the exhale, set your hands, we'll take it into that low crow. So palms down, grip the floor, feet together, lift your heels, and bring the knees wide outside the arms. Squeeze the legs in. Now look forward, lean forward, just go slow, but when the feet lift, try to touch the toes. Now to take that push up, go back and forth. You don't have to go too far, but pull the elbows back and dip your shoulders down. And then come back up and work that as best you can three times. Legs still squeezing in, hands still gripping the floor the whole time you're moving. And then after you've done that three times, go ahead and take it to your vinyasa. You can step it back, you can fly it back, whatever you like. We'll meet in down dog. All right, let's take it to the other side. From your downward facing dog, take an inhale. With the exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or float to the front. Inhale, lift it up halfway. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale to standing, reach up high. And with the exhale, sink into chair again. Put the weight to your heels, bend your knees, and bring your hips down low. Now as you sink down, again, feet within, hips with distance, big toes and knees towards center. Bind it from above, left hand behind your head, palm faces in. Right palm the other way, clasp your fingers, and with your right hand, pull the left arm behind your head. Now press your head into your left arm, keep your shoulders pulled back, chest open, be sure you can still look forward, and keep your hips low. Now focus weight on the right foot, lift your left heel, left leg forward, dip your big toe down. Now go ahead, draw a semicircle all the way behind you, and then bring that left big toe forward, all the way back with the left big toe, bring it forward again. One more time, draw that semicircle back. And then one more time, bring it to the front. And then pressing your right foot, come to standing with your left knee high. Now once you got your balance here, take your figure forward. Left ankle crosses the right thigh. Curl the toes, the left foot, start to sink down. And just keep your chest open, keep looking forward. Maybe look up toward the ceiling for more of a challenge here, but keep breathing. Now with your next inhale, straighten your right leg, lift your left knee. And then hands to your hips, set the left foot down, come to standing with your right knee high. Now once you got your balance here, with the right hand, take hold of the right knee, pull it up high, bring it in closer, point the toes down, and put a little bend in the left knee. We're going to take it back and forth, hinging again. Now keep your gaze forward, hinge the left hip, chest toward the floor, keep that right knee pulled in close. And then hinge from your left hip, come back up the vertical with the right knee high. Again like that, just take it slow. Keep your gaze forward, hinge down toward halfway. And then back up to vertical with the right knee high again. One more time, hinge from the left hip. Chest down, gaze forward, take it the way you can. 
back up the vertical, still standing, still balancing here. Maybe just pull the right knee up higher. Woo, maybe lean this back if you want to take it there. And if you want to go further, reach inside the right leg, find the big toe. You can pull the knee higher with that grip or extend the leg forward and up. Now still balancing, keep the right knee lifted, hands at your hips. And then to step the right foot straight back, find your high lunge stance on this side. So deep end left knee, right leg towards straight, right hip forward, left hip back. Be sure your stance is on two separate tracks and keep your hips squared. With an inhale, reach the arms up high when you're ready. And then with the exhale, bring the hands to your low back and find the grip that feels strange. Interlace your fingers, pull the palms together, draw your shoulders back and keep your chest open like this. And let's take it to the back leg on this side. So dip your right knee down low just above the floor. And then come straight up, take it slow, sink down into that right knee, and then come back up. Right knee down low, just above the mat, keep your chest open. Come back up, right knee down low again, and then bring it up one more time. Now take it slow, lower that right knee down all the way to the floor. And once you're down, flatten the right foot behind you. Now bend into your left knee, sink your hips down, press your knuckles toward the floor, gaze up high. And just feel that length on the front of the right side from the knee through to the shoulders. Keep kicking the right foot down. Now with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And with the exhale, just bring the hands behind your head. Interlace the fingers, palms open, elbows wide, shoulders pull back, hips are still low. And then we're going to take this back and forth to take this deeper. So kick into the right foot. And then press into your left foot, lean this further back, your gaze is still high. Bend deep into your left knee, sink this down and forward. Again, press into your left foot, lean this further back, keep looking up. Bend deep into your left knee, sink down and forward. One more time, press into your left foot, lean this further back, hold here. And as your right foot's kicking down, release your left hand, reach down toward the right heel, look down the length of your left arm, and keep that right hip pressing forward, keep breathing. With your next inhale, turn to center, reach both arms high. And then with the exhale, hands to your hips. Now hinge from the hips, belly to your left thigh, lean forward. Tuck the toes of the right foot and lift the right knee. Now take this to half moon, reach your left arm forward. And as your left hand comes to the floor, the right foot lifts. Now lift your right shoulder, lift the right hip, open up to the right side. You can always do this with the left knee bent. Straighten that leg if you can. And maybe reach your right arm high to open up further. Now, if you want to bind it, bend the right knee, reach with the right hand, maybe find the foot. And if you have that grip, kick in your hand, let it pull your shoulder further back and keep you open to the side. Just breathe here. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, release both hands down, both feet down, forward fold. Now, from your fold, take an inhale, lift it up halfway. And then with the exhale, set your hands. We'll take that flat and curl. Palms down. Grip the floor. He feet together, heels up, and knees outside the arms to flatten this out. Squeeze the legs in. Now look forward, lean. Just go slow, but bring the toes to touch best you can. And keep your legs squeezing your arms. Back and forth for the push-up. Pull the elbows back. Dip your shoulders down. Maybe a little bit, maybe a lot. And then come back up and take it back and forth with control best you can three times. and then take it to another vinyasa. Once you find it down, dog, take a moment here to breathe. All right, let's take it into the next sequence. From downward facing dog, take a deep inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, step or float. Inhale, lift it up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to standing, reach up high. With the exhale, sink down into the chair. Put the weight heels, bend the knees, bring your hips down low. Now let's bind it low this time. Left arm crosses your low back, palm face wing. And at the right side, bring the palms together. Interlace your fingers, pull the shoulders back, keep your chest open, keep your hips low like this. And then focus weight on the left foot, lift your right heel. Right leg forward, dip your big toe down. Draw that semicircle all the way behind you. And then bring the big toe to the front. All the way behind with the right big toe again. And then arc it forward. One more time, draw that semicircle back. Now hold here. Press into your left foot to lift the right foot up off the floor. And keep everything lifted in one long line. Keep your hip squared, lower the right hip. Now if you can go deeper, take it toward your warrior three, maybe toward parallel. 
But again, everything's in line, you're still looking forward. Now work the standing leg. Bend into your left knee, bring your belly down toward your thigh. Press into your left foot, come back up. Bend into your left knee, sink down, belly toward your thigh. Press into the left foot, come back up. One more time, bend the left knee, belly toward your thigh. Press in the left foot, come back up. Bring yourself all the way upright with the right knee lifted. And switch it out, sit your right foot down. And come to standing with your left knee high. Now press into the right big toe. Once you have balance, keep the left arm behind your back, but release the right hand. We'll take a standing twist. Right hand outside your left knee. Now pull your left shoulder back, but stay tall. Open up your chest to the left side. And this is good enough right here, but if you want to go further, right hand to the outside of your left foot. Now if you want to take it further still, maybe extend the leg. And just go slow. Keep yourself twisted. Keep yourself upright. Take an inhale. Now with the exhale, just turn to center. Left knee lifted, hands to your hips. And then slowly turn open the left side, step your left foot back. Let's take this into warrior two. Now take a moment to adjust. Deep under the right knee, left leg straight. One line from the front heel to the back arch. Let your hips sink down. Reach your arms equally front to back. Now as we go back and forth, I want you to exaggerate the reach of the arms as though you're holding a giant wheel and going with the momentum. So let's take it back and forth. Inhale, reverse. Left arm down and forward. Right arm reaches up and back. And with the exhale, extend right arm down and back, left arm up and forward. Inhale, reverse this, reach long. Exhale, extend, keep reaching this way as well. Inhale, reverse. And then exhale, extend. Now inhale, reverse this. With the exhale, extend one more time, stay here. Now bring the left arm behind your back, half bind. Keep that left shoulder pulled back. Right arm's reaching back toward your left leg. Now we take this toward a side lunge, so pivot on your feet, bend the left knee, right leg straightens out and bring the right arm past your left thigh so the right arm is crossing your chest. And maybe sink down lower to your left side. Look for that stretch in the shoulder, keep breathing. And maybe even draw that left shoulder further back. Now take an inhale. And with the exhale, straighten both legs, bring your hands to your hips. And take this into a horse stance, heels in, toes out. Bring your hips down low, thighs toward parallel to the floor. Bring your torso upright, reach the arms out wide. Now take an eagle bind, left arm under, right arm over. Cross the elbows, palms to touch thumbs toward your face. And if you can't get the palms together, do what works. You can always reach across to opposite shoulders. Now if you do have the palms together, I want to take this just a little bit differently. With your left hand, take hold of the right thumb. And then bring your forearms down toward parallel to the floor. Arms are still squeezing either way. Now, whatever version you're in, we're going to take this side to side with a wider stance. So bring the right foot out, maybe one step, maybe a half step. Left foot further out as well. And then go back and forth from here. Deep end of the right knee, left leg straightens, lift the toes of your left foot, keep the arm squeezing. Back through center, bend your left knee, straighten that right leg out and sink down. Over the other side, bend the right knee, left leg straightens out again. Bring it through center, sink down to your left side, still squeezing the arms. Now, one more time, bring it down over the right, left leg straightens out. And maybe sink down lower inside the right leg. Hold here. You can slide that left heel out, but keep your arm squeezing. Take an inhale. With the exhale, bring both hands down, set both feet flat. And as you fold, you come back into that horse stance. Heels in, toes out, thighs toward parallel to the floor. Now, we're going to stay low here and take a cross step. So your right hand stays down at the center of the mat. Left hand up on your left knee. And let's go back and forth. Step your right foot back and across behind your left leg. And then sink the right hip down toward the floor. Pressing your left foot, step the right foot wide back to horse. Again, weight to your left foot. Right foot back and across. Sink the right hip down low. Pressing your left foot and step the right foot out wide. One more time. Weight to left foot. Right foot back and across. Sink your right hip down. Stay low this time. And right here is good enough, but if you want to go further, lift the right foot, press the right leg into the left. Maybe even take a half bind, left arm behind your back, pull that shoulder back and look up toward the ceiling. Keep breathing here. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, both hands down. Step the right foot wide. Come back to that horse stance. And then stay folded. Make a quarter turn to the right. Come into a little lunge. So the hands are on the right foot. Left knee lifted behind you. And then look forward. Bring the weight to the right foot. Hands to your hips. And we're going to take this into a, a revolved half moon. So left hand forward. Bring that hand down as, a, as the left leg lifts. And then lift your right shoulder. Open up your chest to the right side. You can keep the right knee bent or straighten the leg. Maybe reach the right arm high to open up further. And if you want to bind it, bend your left knee, reach back with the right hand, find your left foot. Now, if you have that grip, kick in your hand, let it pull your shoulder further back. 
And let's breathe here. Take an inhale. With exhale, release both hands down, both feet down, forward fold. Now, when you're ready, take an inhale, lift this up halfway. And then with the exhale, set your hands, let's take that flat and crow. So palms down, grip the floor, bring your feet together. Heels up, knees wide outside the arms. Now keep your legs squeezing in, lean this forward, keep that grip. Let the feet lift and let the toes come into touch. And then take that push up, pull your elbows back, dip your shoulders down a little bit or a lot. And again, three times with your legs squeezing in. And after you take it back and forth, go ahead and take it through another vinyasa. Once you find your down dog, pedal out. All right, let's even this out on the other side. When you're ready, hit take an inhale. With the exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or float. <laughs> inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale to standing, reach up high. And with the exhale, sink into chair one more time. Bend the knees, bring the hips down low. Now, once you settle, let's go ahead and bind this low. Right arm crosses your low back, palm face away. At the left side, bring your palms together. Fingers in a lace, shoulders pull back, chest open, keep your hips low. Now, focus weight on, the, on your right foot, lift your left heel. Left leg forward, dip your big toe down. Draw that semicircle all the way back. And then bring it to the front. All the way back with your left big toe. And then bring it forward again. Left big toe back one more time. Hold here. Press into the right foot to lift the left. Keep your lifted body in line. Keep the left hip forward to keep your hip square. If you want to go deeper, you can hinge down toward halfway, warrior three. Now, from wherever you are, work your standing leg. Bend your right knee. Bring your belly down closer to your thigh. Press into the right foot. Come back up. Bend the right knee. Sink down. Belly toward your thigh. Press into the right foot. Come back up. One more time. Bend the knee. Belly toward your thigh. One more time. Press it up. And then bring yourself up back to vertical with your left knee high. And then switch out left foot down. Come to standing with your right knee lifted. Now once you got your balance here, go ahead, keep the right arm bound, but release the left hand. Take your standing twist, left hand to the outside of the right knee. Pull the right shoulder back, open up your chest to the right side, good enough right here. And if you want to go further, you reach the left hand to the outside edge of the right foot. Maybe extend the right leg. Still balancing, take an inhale. With the exhale, turn to center, right knee lifted, hands to your hips. And then slowly turn open to the right side, step that right foot back, take your warrior two on this side. Now deep in the left knee, straight right leg, and again, one line from the front heel to the back arch, sink this down low, you can always lengthen it out further. And then reach the arms out wide. Now again, exaggerate the reach of the arms here as we take this back and forth. With the inhale, reverse, right arm down and forward, left arm up and back. Exhale, extend, left arm down and back, right arm up and forward. Inhale, reverses. Exhale, extend. Keep reaching. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverses. With the exhale, extend it one more time. Hold here. Right arm behind your back. Half bind. Left arm still reaching toward the right leg. And then pivot on your feet. Take it as a side lunge. Left arm slides across the right thigh. Now let that left arm cross your chest. Pull the right shoulder back. Maybe sink down lower, but just breathe into this here. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, bring yourself up, right hands to your hips, straighten both legs. And then take it into a horse stance. Heels in, toes out, bring your hips down low. Now keep your spine upright, reach the arms out wide. And then let's take an eagle bind. It's going to be right arm under this time, left arm over. Cross to the elbows, palms to touch, thumbs with your face. And again, if you can't get the palms together, reach to the shoulders, do what works with the arms crossed. Keep the arms squeezing. Now, if you touch the palms, want to take it a little bit differently. With your right hand, take hold of your left thumb. And then see about keeping the arms clasped like this, but with the forearms parallel to the floor. And then take a wider stance. Right foot out, maybe a half step, maybe a full step. Left foot out, maybe a half step or a full step as well. Keep your hips low. Now, let's take it back and forth. Put the weight to your left foot. Straighten your right leg. Point the toes up. 
and then come through setup. The bend's on the right knee, left leg straightened out, sink down to the side. Arms are still squeezing, sink over to the left side again, try to come down lower. Bring it back through center, sink over to the right again, arms still squeezing. One more time, bring it to your left side, come down low, you can slide that right foot out, but hold here. And then take an inhale. And with the exhale, bring both hands down, set both feet flat, and as you fold it, come back into that horse stance. Thighs toward parallel the floor, hips at the level of the knees. Now let's set it up for that cross step. So your left hand stays down at the center of the mat, right hand to the right knee. Now just keep your chest facing down to start, but step the left foot behind the right, and then sink your left hip down low. Pressing your right foot, step the left foot out wide, back to horse. Over to the right foot again, left foot back and across, sink that left hip down. Pressing your right foot, and step your left foot out wide. One more time, weight to the right foot, left foot back and across. Now sink the left hip low, hold here. And if you want to go further, maybe lift that left foot, keep the left leg pressing into the right, and maybe even take a half bind and draw the right shoulder back. Take this to where you can. Now take an inhale. And with the exhale, just come back to center. Step your left foot out wide, both hands down, and then make a quarter turn to the left. Come into low lunge. Hands are around that left foot. Right heel lifts behind you. Now look forward. Bring your hands to your hips. And then let's take this to revolved half moon. So reach your right hand forward. And as your right hand comes down, lift the right foot up off the floor. Lift your left shoulder and open up your chest to the left side. Find that twist. Now you can stay here with the bent left knee, but straighten the leg if you can. Maybe reach your left arm high. Open the twist up further. If you want to bind it, bend your right knee. Reach with your left hand. Find the right foot. Now if you have that grip, kick into your hand. Pull the shoulder further back and just breathe into this here. Take an inhale. With the exhale, release both hands down, both feet down, forward fold. From your fold, when you're ready, take an inhale, lift up halfway. And then with the exhale, set your hands. And let's take it to that flattened curl one more time. So palms down, grip the floor, bring your feet together. Heels up, knees outside the arms, and squeeze your legs in. Use the inner thighs. Shoulders forward as the elbows bend, come forward. When the feet lift, toes to touch. Keep your legs squeezing, pull the elbows back, dip your shoulders down a little bit or a lot. And again, three times, back and forth. Keep the balance under control. And then take it to your last vinyasa when you're ready. Now, once you find your down dog, take an inhale. And then with the exhale, bring your knees down to the floor. And we'll take it right from here into Peacock. So we're going to do two, two entries to come into this pose. And just play around with it and feel free to work with whatever version you like. But coming into this, just like the wrist stretch we had before. Keep your knees down, but bring your knees out wide in the hips. Big toes point toward each other. Now I want you to walk your hands back and set your hands down on the line that you can draw between your knees. Palms down, fingertips at least rotated to the side right and left 90 degrees, and try to take it further to rotate your fingers back toward your feet. The wrist stretch is part of the pose, but just take it to where your wrist, where your wrist can handle it. So when you set your hands down, see about shoulder width, but you can always play around with more narrow or further out. But you need to keep your hips low, pull your chest forward between the upper arms, and be sure you can bend the elbows toward each other. You're going to be on the shelf of your arms, keep in mind. You want the elbows to press to the ribs or the muscles of your core. Now keep your chest pulling forward, keep looking forward, and then let yourself flatten out further, bring your knees out even wider. That's more weight on your arms. Now keep looking forward, lean forward as the elbows bend, and rather than looking down, try to find some extension through the upper back. Now when you lean forward, your legs are going to get light, and you can hold this. It's easiest with bent knees. If you want to take it further, you can extend out to the sides. That's a straddle. Maybe bring your legs together and just take it away. you can. And again, it's that shift of weight that's going to bring you up. Keep in mind, if you're having trouble lifting your feet, you got to come further forward. Keep in mind, that's going to depend a lot on your body proportions. And even imagine holding a back bend in your upper back to find the pose. Now, you're welcome to take that entry again. And if you want to try this other version, this goes a little bit more directly, and this is from plank. Some people find this easier, some people find it harder, so it all sort of depends. Now, if you're interested in that, bring yourself into your plank. So, wrist underneath the shoulder, step your feet back, and bring your legs together here to start. 
And then shorten this up just a little bit. Hands come about four inches close to your feet, more or less. And then adjust the position of your hands. So you're going to rotate your fingers to the sides. And then maybe further back toward your feet. Don't worry about it being perfect. And the hands can go wider or narrower. But whatever you do, pull the elbows underneath you. Bring your chest forward between the upper arms. And set yourself down on the elbows. Now, it depends on what version you want right here. And if you want your legs straight, you just keep leaning forward. Most people start with bent knees. For that, just walk your feet forward. Keep the knees out wide. And again, lean forward to lift your feet. Again, you can take the straddle here. You can straighten the legs out. Take whatever version you like and find that forward lean to find your balance. And it's not an easy pose, but it's certainly not impossible. It's usually within reach for most people. Keep in mind as far as arm balances goes. It looks much more dramatic than it actually is. Now, if you want to work that further, feel free. And if you had about enough of that, we'll start to cool things down. So if you're ready to move on, bring yourself into downward facing dog. And we'll take half pigeon from here. So with an inhale, raise your right leg high behind you. And with the exhale, bring it forward, right knee behind your right wrist, right ankle somewhere behind the left. Now go ahead, bring your left knee down, flatten the left foot behind you, pull that left hip forward, keep your hips in line, and just sink your weight straight down. Now find at least some of that stretch on the right side, right out of hip or toward the glutes. And you can always just stay upright like this, this might be good enough. If you want to go deeper with extension, you can move toward a back bend. If you want to relax, you can come down to the elbows, you can melt this all the way down to the floor. Just take the version that works best for you right now and breathe. Now from here, if your hands are forward, walk them in close. We're going to take another pose. Once your hands are close enough, pull your belly in. Back your hips up over your left knee. We're going to take Gomukhasana. So slide the right foot out to the left and bring that right knee into center. And cross your legs. Left knee pulls forward behind the right. Feet wide. Now as your legs are squeezing, come down to sitting between your heels. And if that entry isn't going to work for you, you can just sit this with the left leg forward and the right leg crossed over your left knee. But bring both sit bones down. Bring your spine up, right? And then from the arm, I'd take it from below first. So right arm crosses your low back, palm facing away. With your left hand, reach back. You can find the wrist. Maybe reach to the elbow, anything in between. And whatever you're gripping, pull that right shoulder back. Keep your chest open and sit this up tall. Now, if you want the full bind, right hand up between the shoulder blades. And then the left arm comes from above. And again, find that grip somewhere in between. Shoulders back, chest open. And keep your legs squeezing whatever version of the pose you're in. Just breathe here. Take a deep inhale. And with the exhale, just release your arm bind. Set your hands down behind you. Lean back, uncross the legs. And then just cross the ankles. Roll forward your hands. Step back to down dog. And we'll take all that to the other side. So when you're ready from here, inhale your left leg high behind you. And with the exhale, bring it forward. Left knee behind your left wrist. If that goes somewhere behind the right. Go ahead, bring the right knee down. Flatten the right foot. Pull the right hip forward. Keep it in line with the left. And again, sink your weight straight down. Look for some of that stretch on the left side, out of left hip or toward the glutes. Now you can stay upright like this. Again, you can take deeper extension toward the back bend. You can come down to the elbows. You can melt all the way down. Just take it to where you need to here.
again from here. If your hands are further away, walk a little close. And then once you're ready, pull your belly in, back your hips up over the right knee. And slide the left foot over to the right, bring the left knee to the center. Let's take Gomo and again. Right knee pulls forward behind the left. Now keep your legs squeezing, bring the feet out wide, come down to sitting between your heels. And once you're down, just give yourself a moment. Both sit bones down, sit this upright, and keep your legs squeezing. You can also do this with the right leg extended. Now for the half bind, left arm crosses your low back, palm face away. Reach back with your right hand. You can find the wrist, the elbow, whatever you're able to grip. And use that grip to draw the left shoulder back. Keep your chest open again, sit this up tall. Now, if you want the full bind, left hand comes up between the shoulder blades, right on from above. And again, find that grip somewhere in between. Take a deep inhale. And with the exhale, just release whatever arm bind you're in. Hands down behind you, lean back, untangle the legs. And then bring yourself all the way down onto your back. Now once you're down, pull your knees into your chest, squeeze everything in tight. And let's take happy baby. Go ahead, reach between the knees. Take hold of the outside edges of your feet. And then stack your ankles above your knees, pull down on both sides. Press the knees down toward the floor outside your ribs and press your feet back up into your hands at the same time. And keep the tension working both up and down like this. Try to flatten your spine, stick your tailbone down toward the floor. If you want to go farther, you can rock a little bit side to side. Further still, you can extend your legs out against your grip. And then finally, when you're ready here, take a deep inhale, draw it down as much as you can. And with the exhale, just release, extend your legs out fully. Lay your arms to your sides. Open up your palms toward the ceiling. And just let your eyes close here and let your body settle down into the mat. And then just start to move bit by bit here, fingers and toes, arms and legs. Take a deep inhale, reach your arms out long past your head. And then draw everything back in, run the elbows toward your chest, pull your knees up as well. And find your way up to a comfortable seat. Ground yourself in the mat here, stack your spine. Bring your hands up to heart center. And then take a deep inhale, hold on to it at the top. And just let everything go. And I thank you for joining class. Namaste.